Wait, what am I getting hit by? Oh, wait. I have this attack. Why am I even using any of the other attacks? Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 8 of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly for the Sony PlayStation 2. So we made it here to Cloud9 in the last episode. We did the speedway in about a third of the level or so, give or take. This is level set up really weird where a lot of it's also above you as well as down on the ground level. Also I hear um, some kind of weird thundercloud enemy. Wait, what the heck is this guy? Um, apparently he dropped a magic wand? That was a weird looking thief. Now, why the thief looks like that in this game is, is uh, there's actually a reason. And I think you'll find it kind of funny why he looks like that. Youch. Youch. Yeah, youch, alright. We just smashed our skull against a wall. And also, another thing some of the enemies in the later levels, like this one, just suck really bad. And also, that that wall is preventing me from turning the camera. I had to scratch an itch. I'm like, oh, okay, let me just turn the camera while I do that, and it wouldn't let me. So, that's nice. I'm pretty sure that wand we need to drop off is that bear there. Also, I hear a dragonfly, which isn't going to be very fun. The worst dragonflies, in my opinion, in this game are the ones that run around, because their hitboxes are super weird for like when you use bubble breath on them, and plus a lot of them are actually in very dangerous locations. Also I hate how some of the vases make the breaking sound effects in the background as if they're breaking again. I don't know if you guys heard that, I do believe I have the volume up enough on these games where you can actually hear that. Okay that, oh god their sound effect when you kill them is just weird and creepy, it's like they love being murdered. So there's a lot of gems in just this little section alone. There's like a rainbow bridge up there. Actually, I believe all he does is activate a whirlwind, right? And it's not actually to progress with the level, it's to deal with this area. And I see that basket over there. Don't 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 get me wrong. I do see it. Um, then we'll probably just grab Zoe again just to make sure we have our like progress saved here. I think the issue with this game is they chose so many small gems. And then had so many, like, um, gems just in total. Wait, what was that over there? Was that another star? Oh, yeah, it is. It's just one of those stars. Let's talk to this bear over here. Thanks, Spyro. Now I can power up the swirly. You didn't even do anything. Even in Spyro 3 when you were in the uh, Crystal Islands dealing with the magicians, they would actually have animations for what they were doing, despite that being a severely rushed game. This game, apparently, doesn't even have that. Okay, so we can go down onto these little pedestal areas and grab some more gems. I think I heard the dragonfly. Or could it have just been him flapping his wings? Also, were you ever gonna shoot me? You're not like the Norks in the in the Hero's Tale, where you got they just like would brutally shoot you off screen, and you had nothing you could do about it. Also, how the heck do I have 19 lives in a game that I was expecting to be brutally murdered in like 10th? That also didn't hit me. So the one time I actually do get hit by them, it doesn't even make sense. Of course, leave leave it to this game to just be like. I hear the arrow, but I don't see the arrow. Okay, so that dragon flies over there. And looks like we're gonna need our buble breath, you know. Oh, he's kind of in like, he goes to kind of like the weirdest spots. Wait, that, t did you just cheat and fly across there? Spiral, come on, man. You're a dragon. Learn to fly already, you butt-headed weirdo. Mm hmm. 
Like I said, the camera angles in this don't do it justice when you're trying to get these dragonflies. He just cheated again and went through a wall now? Okay, the logic behind this game makes no sense. Wait, where did he even go? He's way over there now? Over on the rainbow bridge? Like, what the heck? They did not make this guy uh, easy to get, did he? Or did he? Did they? Okay, then. I don't even know where he went, so let's just go and deal with this first, since this is actually part of the main... I guess actually, technically, to progress the level, you did need to do that, didn't you? Like, set up the whirly and stuff like that. Because we wouldn't have been able to get here otherwise. Okay, like I said, these camera angles really like to... Whoa, you just slid... What the heck was that animation? I do not appreciate when the game does that to me, but there we go. We activated another one of these beam things. Now I think there's two left. Okay, anyways, let's go grab some health, despite the fact that we'll probably still die or something. Ugh. Um, wait, that just didn't drop health. What? Um, since when do enemies that drop health not drop health? I have never had that happen before in any Spyro game where it just didn't drop health. Like, my lord, man. Alrighty. You're mine this time, fool. There we go. Hey, it's Sabino. Thank you for Sabino and the weird audio cutoff. Alright, let's switch back to Electric Breath and go down this way. I don't mind these little hallway sections because they're generally... They, they run smooth is, is what I'm getting at. Oh, I thought that was another Dragonfly. Why do they drop so much health in the same spot? But then some areas they just don't have health. Now I'm just double checking this hallway. Like I said before, this game is really bad with hiding stuff in hallways, so... Yeah, be on the lookout for that. Uh, where are we now? I think that we're close to the last checkpoint in the game. Or, in the level in the game, yeah. Last checkpoint in the game, and then you gotta come back to this level every time you die. No, this level has really bad checkpoint spots. And they're right before a really stupid, dangerous section where they should have added one or two more checkpoints. But... I don't think the game was supposed to run as poorly as it did, and then... It just was made to have like this really, really bad... I wonder if Electric Breath can kill... Okay, apparently Electric Breath can kill clouds that are literally only around because of electricity and water. Yeah, don't think that would hurt them though, honestly. Oh my god, the slowdown just because of um certain things going on in this level now. Because now we're getting into the point where there's like a lot of moving sections. Still surprised that the... Sp Speedway had no slowdown. Why does the game do that? Like, you, you gain too much momentum or lose too much momentum. See, like, how far I went with just a tap? Like, okay, so I'm just gonna press it once really quickly. It shouldn't go that far. Also, you really don't need this platform to get over here. That's more so to get back. Man, the sound of thunder and lightning and... And dead cloud men. Oh nice, you actually managed to pick that up without me having to go down and grab it. I like when Sparks actually, you know, has some kind of use. And uh, it's one of those sections where like the camera just straight up doesn't want to work. Because you gotta be like in a fairly open area for the camera to actually spin around. So it makes a lot of this game kind of ridiculous that way. And when you go and play newer games that actually have good cameras and that's like the least of your issue, it, it really makes this one feel poisonous compared to others. Okay, now I've seen a dragonfly, but i also seen this. And this is technically to progress the story, so I kind of want to go and grab this first. There we go. And there's only a few... Actually, I think we can get the dragonfly from up here. 
Also, there should only be one more minigame portal. I believe it's at the very end of the level. Now, I don't think it's technically the end of the level, but according to like where the exit portal and stuff is, it is the end of the level. I think we actually... I don't know how I managed to hit that one, but we hit two at once with that one electrical breath shot. We only need one more of these. Yeah, now we need to get that dragonfly over there, so... Let's hope this goes according to plan. I don't think it moves. There we go. Nice. Sylvia. Hey, it's Sylvia. Oh, I guess there are male and female. Alright, perfect. This is actually going a lot smoother than I would have expected it to go, considering this game likes to try and give me a brain aneurysm every time I play it. I do believe we can actually make this glide over here. Oh, I thought this was back to, like, the beginning of this area, and I was about to be like, oh, great. Shouldn't have taken this way, but no, there's gems over here. This level is also one of the more annoying ones to find all the gems. Um, I don't like that you can go out of the wall, Ice Boy. Hey, it's Ice Boy. Why is your name Ice Boy, anyway? Also, oh, that's a lot of dragonflies already. Like, a weird amount of dragonflies just kind of, like, clustered in, like, little specific areas. Kind of reminds me of Spiral 1 with, like, a lot of the dragons just being side by side and then not having any for, like, the rest of the level. This is the final checkpoint. No, it was that section there that was annoying because you don't have a checkpoint in that, in that whole area. So you have to go through, like, that water area again and everything. Now, I do believe this is actually another water area over here. Like, this level's actually a lot bigger than I remember it being. I honestly forgot about this area. Also, there's something... Hang on. Okay, I got it off. There was something on my, um... Analog stick. It was, like, some kind of, like, hair or something. It was just, like, under my thumb. And making it so it was, like, really awkward to do anything. Also, what is the camera doing? It, like, keeps sticking because of these steps. Ooh, was that a blue gem? Man, haven't seen a lot of them in this level so far. It's mainly been small gems for whatever silly reason. I like when the game actually gives me bigger gems. Can the enemies start giving me bigger gems than green and blue? Or green and red? Not green and blue. Oh yeah, this minigame. This one's kind of interesting because you can't go in the water because they electrocute it. Or electrify it. You'll be electrocuted if you go in the water. And so you have like that little portal power up there to deal with it. Which is actually kind of a fine gimmick. It's, it's, I'm not complaining about it. This part of the level is actually perfectly fine. It's the, the gliding and hovering sections that make this kind of bad. So now you do this, and then you go into the first person mode, and then you can just fire these fireballs at these enemies. Because you do need to kill them all. I don't think you get a dragonfly for this though. Which kind of sucks. Oh, that enemy did die. And that should be the last one right there. Alright, so then I think we can talk to this guy now. These lightning clouds are electrifying the pools. Can you use your super flame breath to get rid of them? Use the portal to power up your flame breath and get it to work. Okay, well what else if I already did? Great job, Spyro! While you were taking care of the clouds, I found this flying thing stuck in one of them. He seems lost. Hey, it was worth a dragonfly. Nice. <laughs> hey, it's Takahiro. Thank you for Takahiro. Can you swim to the next machine? I'm too scared of the water. You're a bear. Why would you be scared of water? You guys are natural fishermen. Why don't you just say you're too sleepy? The fact that they don't reference the fact that they're half asleep is really weird. Do you guys remember in Spyro 3, there was that random mini boss in Spooky Swamp that had... That was like half asleep, half asleep and he would like throw crocodiles at you and bombs. I found it really funny that both Spyro 2 and 3 had one mini boss throughout the entire game. <clears throat> One in Spooky Swamp at number three, and the uh, random Yeti, or no, it was an, not a Yeti, it was an Ox, duh. The, the, I was thinking like, um, Buffalo, but then I said Yeti, and I'm like, no, it's an Ox. That was in, um, Metropolis. Which, by the way, will be one of the next last plays. 
I did play some of the old Spyro games, that's why I'm doing the Reignited one. Just to show you guys like what the new ones look like, and... Okay, that looks like it's... Oh, this is the spot that I don't like. So yeah, this does not look like a spot that you should be able to get, and that's what I mean. You're probably going to lose a few lives here, by the way. Yeah, I don't know why they designed the level like this, but they did. Where that is... It's kind of like that one uh, platform you have to do in Spyro 1 before the, rema or before the uh, remaster. Where it was just really, really stupid, but luckily it wasn't worth your life. In this game, they're just like, oh yeah, we'll make it worth your life. So you get to die, and then have to backtrack every single time you die, instead of just having a checkpoint right here. Wait, I was on the ground! How the heck did I manage that? And I don't think you can use that way. So... Okay, sometimes the slowdown is actually beneficial, not gonna lie. <clears throat> also, these guys shoot at the most random times. They don't- they, they like wind up forever and then get a shot, and then you can easily jump over it, except for when I got hit by one when it was off screen. Half the time, the shots don't even actually go anywhere. Also, I flamed two of them again for some reason, and that's the final one. So we should only have one more mini game portal to get the last dragonfly, and that's it. And that is now turning into a seizure dome. Nice. Oh, great! More, more of the stupid platform. Except this time, it actually looks like it's the proper height. I think that other one was actually slightly higher than us. And oh god, I don't like the flickering up there. If you guys have uh, flashing light sensitivity, please, please don't. Uh, don't force yourselves to look at that. Just like look away. And why am I being sucked into the bear? Thanks for the help, Spyro. Here's a dragonfly for you. All right. Thank you, Danny the bear. What's your name? Rick. Hey, it's Rick. What a simple name compared to like Talk a Hero and Ice Boy. So weird. Like just super weird, man. Like. I wonder what determines them to give something like a generic boring nickname or like an actual hardcore name like Ice Boy or Rick. I don't want to go in the portal by accident. I've done that before in this level where I've accidentally gone through the portal and it screws you over of getting everything. Don't go in that portal, Spyro. Wait, there's a way up. Where is it? Oh, it's in here. Because you can hear like this clock tower, and that's where we need to go is to the, the clock tower. We should almost have everything though, if we didn't miss any stupid gems anywhere. Oh yeah, the ladder. Yay, ladders. Oh god, this is going to give people a stroke, isn't it? Stupid freaking uh, animation. Can you turn the camera? Thank you. I was like double checking to make... Actually, how many gems are we missing here? Uh, we're missing... Wow, we're missing uh, 22. Not a lot, but not that little either. Also, I hear another dragonfly. Oh, is this one just going to be one of those ones that kind of goes like around the area? I think he went down again. Oh, come on. The, the weird camera here is, is what makes this difficult. Not the fact that he's actually hard to catch. Ow, that apparently caught him. It's Goose. Hey, it's Goose. What a weird name. Huh, I guess there's still one more left. Yeah, we just need to find... Tw Whoa, what was that? <clears throat> if you guys got to... <clears throat> oh my god. It won't let me talk. Um, if you could feel the controller, it vibrated me and then spun me around in a circle. Also... Oh, yeah, forcing you to do something like that is just ridiculous. Ah, yes, let's climb a clock tower. Oh, I was like wondering why it's slowing down. That's because the last Dragonfly minigame is over here, so... There's a weird wall there. Might as well go and do it. 
Because I believe the rest of the gems, remember that floating platform we seen outside the tower? I'm pretty sure that leads us to the last of the gems. We got 617 though, which isn't bad. Also, did we not find a single gold gem? I do believe we never found a single gold gem doing this. Which is kind of interesting. So, I'll take it, I guess. The Puppy Palace is under attack! Please, save us from the battleships! Battleships? What the heck? Defend the Puppy Palace? Um, sure. Oh, you actually have to keep pressing it. Also, did we already destroy one? I'm taking infinite damage because of the, just the way the game works. It's so dumb. What am I hitting exactly? I'm like bumping into something and then... Wait, what? Those Those Wait, what am I getting hit by? Oh, wait. I have this attack. Why am I even using any of the other attacks? Why is the A button this attack exactly? Oh, my lord. I don't know who designed this, but this is, uh, not fun. I think they were trying to be too much like Crash Bandicoot. Oh, they're homing missiles, too. That's, that's interesting to know. Also, how many shots does it actually take to kill these guys? I've been pumping them full of lead here, and... And oh my lordy dordy, is it just bad? And when I get really close to one, it like slows right down. Like, look at that. It's like I get to go in slow motion. It'd be cool if it was actually dying. It's not even dying. It's just like, I'm dying because like, the speed is just so bad. And you can't, you can't just hold it down either. Like, you have to constantly actually press it. Hey, that time I didn't get slow down. That time I did, and oh my god, is it graining in the ears. Oh, there we go. We finally sunk one. That only took a million years to do. There we go, there's number two. This should be the last wave that we have to go around, right? Oh yeah, there we go. And there we go, we beat it. Nice. Puffy Palace is safe once again. This dragonfly was taking shelter inside the palace. Here, you can have it. Should be the last one, too. Tweedle. Hey, it's Tweedle. What a dumb name. Tweedle Tweedle. Oh, that's just Tweedle. If you defend no, I didn't want to defend the Puffy Palace again. Game, what are you doing? Also, did it not do the the do 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 when we got all the the dragonflies? I'm pretty sure that was the last one, right? We had the one on the Rainbow Bridge, the two from the Speedway, the one here, the one for the clouds, the one for the towers, the one in the clock tower, the one... Uh, there might be like one or two somewhere else. I don't know. Oh, there might be one like out the... out the... Uh, on that platform area again. I was only going to record two episodes of this, but I'm actually having fun. As choppy as that minigame was. Did we not get all of them here, by the way? Oh, no, we're missing one. Lip of the Clock. Huh. Lip of the Clock. And it was, like, kind of in the middle, so... I'm assuming it's probably the one... Where was it? Was it the one over there? I think it's over here, right? That we need to go? Oh, the slowdown. It's like anytime you get near one of those minigame portals, the game just, like, dies on you. Uh, 
Um, lip of the clock. Lip of the clock. Um, hmm. Now, where did that... Okay, looking at where it was, where does it show it? Lip of the clock is right there. Hmm. I guess technically we can just go back. I don't think it's up there. Oh wait a minute! I know that's that's how that's how you're supposed to get to the mini game easier. I think that's I think we did it out of order. No, maybe not. Cause this is the very beginning of the level again over here. Also, I forgot to check how many gems we were missing. Also, another thing I don't like, like I mentioned before, are the the fact that the enemies respawn when you go like in and out of a mini game, which I don't think should be the case. So now you don't know if like you actually have everything or not. I'm pretty sure there was a dragonfly around here somewhere though, right? Like, I'm pretty sure there was a dragonfly around this area. Right there. Um, let's see here. Uh, maybe it's this way. I really wish you could track the gems, but no way am I beating the game just to be able to track gems. Such a stupid, stupid idea. Cause the thing said lip of the clock. I haven't seen a clock yet. Other than the clock tower, which was where we were in. Do get out of my way. Also, why did I fall down here? Get me out of this water. It's poisonous. Spyro does not like water, man. Not in the slightest. And there's the whole thing, like I said, where like he'll just like not glide if he's too close to a wall. Because a lot of these walls have really weird hitboxes, and the weird hitbox really screws with the whole gliding and jumping thing in this game. And you've seen it before, like where I land on a platform and I'm still moving. As if I never technically landed on it yet. Is it like maybe behind us? No? I think it's around here. I'm like pretty sure it was around here, right? No, maybe not. Wait, why is the thief back? The whirlwind's active, though. No, it's not up there, that's for sure. Also, I should really check how many gems we're missing here, so let's see. 14. We're still missing quite a few gems, too. If it was only, like, um... A couple of gems, it would be seem like normal because you know, like, wait, I just charged that thing. That's weird. And how how can we physically kill a cloud by charging into it? It's literally made of water. Get out of my way! Thank you. All right, thank you. Oh, I thought the cloud enemy just straight up disappeared from existence, and I was like, oh nice, cool, he's gone. But no, that's not how this game works. Why would it ever work that way, right? Actually, the music here kind of reminds me of, um, Spiral 1. Kind of has, like, the, the Nork level, uh, um, vibe to it. Okay, we've already gotten the one over there, and we've already did that, so... What's that over there? That's a life again. I don't really need that. I'm pretty sure the lip of the clock, though, is at the end of the level. I'm pretty sure there's another way up that I just somehow missed, so we gotta go back for it anyway. <laughs> Alright, now we got this annoying spot again. And with the weird slowdown and stuff every now and then, it really makes doing this part really slow. So I didn't realize how many times you actually have to jump up now that I have to come back here a third time. I'm just looking forward to going to Monkey Monastery, honestly. That, that level is like a thousand times better. Um, let's see here. If we fail this, then I'll probably just cut, or like, start the next episode off where I'm supposed to be. Oh, never mind. 
I say that and we make it, so that that's pretty useful. I love how, too, the camera doesn't like to work until you actually stop moving. Like, I'm pretty sure it's around here that we have to go. Like, there's, like, a spot around here that I'm, like, 90% sure we have to do. Like, wasn't there? I'm so confused. Hmm. Interesting. Because we did that. And it, because it's the lip of the cl Wait a minute. Okay, nothing there. Weird. Because this is clearly the clock. Oh, there's the last dragonfly. Okay. Um, how many? Oh my lord, Margaret. Hey, it's Mar now, where in the world are these last of the, uh, the last, what, 12 gems or whatever? Um, I'll probably just end the episode and then look for them on my own time because I'm pretty sure this happens every time I'm here and happens to most people, so I'm pretty sure... There's that wall again. Yeah, I'm just gonna end the episode. Um, remember to join the Patreon and the Discord in the description below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.